Hi, Mill Creek families. Um, this week we are going to be talking about money in math. So I'm going to show you a couple of activities you can do um, to learn about coins. Now, we have not actually done anything with coins yet. We will not do that really until first grade. So if your kiddo does not know anything about coins, that's okay. Uh, this is a good place to start. So I just went through my house and found the coins I could find. So this is what I have so far. So the first thing I would do is start out with just sorting them um, and just making piles. So putting all the pennies together and all the nickels together and all the dimes together. And just kind of doing that is a good way just to get your kiddo to see what they are and to see what they look like and the differences of them. And I will tell you, they do seem to be pretty interested in it. I'm um, just a little bit, we've talked about it this year. So I think they'll be excited about learning about it. And we have, of course, with Entrepreneur Fair and um, when the Kona Ice people came and things like that, field trips, we've talked a little bit about it, but not, um, we haven't explicitly taught it. So they do seem to be interested in it, and it is a good skill to go over, even just in a very basic way. Um, so once they've sorted them out, and that was really quick for me to do, I would just explain to them that pennies are one cent, nickels are five cents, um, quarters are 25 cents, and dimes are 10 cents, and just kind of explaining that to them. And then once you've done that, the next thing I would do is a little game, which I think they'll really enjoy, where you do a coin toss. So I just got a bowl out of my kitchen, and you can just give them a random assortment of coins. And I'm just going to grab a random amount, and then I'm going to try to toss them into the bowl. Okay, and this can be as far away as you want. Oh, like, see, I missed that one. Oh, daggone, I missed that one too. <laughs> so you can set as far away as you want or as close as you want to see um, how many they can get in. So then once they get some in, you can say, okay, so let's see how many you got in. This is a nickel and another nickel. Do you remember how many a nickel was worth? Five and five, that gives you 10 cents. And then you could do it again, give them another few random coins. And you could even move the bowl further away this time. So you could try to... Oh, well that one just bounced right out. So this time I got one penny and one nickel. So that's gonna give me six cents. So you can try this kind of thing. You could even make it a competition between a big brother and sister to see who could get the most. You could move the bowl further away. Um, I think kids would really enjoy this. They like to play games that are a little bit competitive, um, but while learning. So this is a great way to go over this, and we will um, talk about it in our Zoom meeting as well as their packet is also a coin um, activity this week. Um, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on it because um, obviously, we don't have a ton of school left in the year, but it's it's really a good way for the kiddos to learn, and it's something that is obviously a really important life skill. So hopefully you guys can play that. See ya!